put off by how long this video is, don't worry. I tend to jam-pack my videos with as much content, as many details as I possibly can, and I try to talk pretty fast. So while the video is a bit on the long side, I don't repeat myself and I get into a lot of details about the subject that, you know, pretty much anything that I feel I can comment on and that I think you might find interesting. But hey, if the video is just too long for you to watch, chances are I recorded a shorter version and the link will be in the description box. It's not an inferior video, it's merely a Cliff's Notes version of this very video. Times Moon View. Jim Davis has returned from military duty in Iraq and he is still haunted by brutal nightmares. He has now He's now trying for a job with the Los Angeles Police Department and he's helping his friend Mike out with trying to find a new job. Although Mike's girlfriend Sylvia is not too happy about Jim being around. She considers him a bad influence. And considering that Jim does start to seem like a ticking time bomb, you do get the sense that things are gonna go bad. And when Jim finds out that he will not get the job in the LAPD, he does not take it well. This is David Iyer's directorial debut. He also directed Street Kings and he wrote Training Day among others. And he does a really, really good job. He grew up in, well didn't grow up, he spent some of his youth in South Central Los Angeles and whenever he gets the chance with one of his scripts, or movies in general, he bases it around that rather crime-ridden area, and it really shows that it's based on personal experience. The man really, he gets the credibility just absolutely perfect. It's it's not trying too hard, and it's not clearly from an outsider's perspective either. Everything about the credibility in this, just the, the slang, the dialogue. By the way, if, you, if this is the first Christian Bale movie you watch, and you come out of it, you're going to be thinking that the dude grew up in South Central Los Angeles. He sounds exactly like it. Yeah, the slang, the dialogue, it, it's so natural coming out of his mouth that really, you run out of ways of saying that Christian Bale is a brilliant, intense method actor, and he is freaking intense. He plays Jim, in case that was at all. When I said that a character in this was a ticking time bomb and you knew it would start Christian Bale, you pretty much knew that he was gonna... Yeah, and you just... You are constantly... There's, there's constantly the sense that he is just... Going to... Yeah, that something bad is gonna happen. Because of him, and... At the same time, there are times when you... He's not an unsympathetic character. He's still... You kind of get... Yeah, you know, you, you, you... There are things you like about him. Anyway, the, the credibility... The, the characters, the environment... Yeah, just, just everything... Hits the nail on the head. The acting is all good. Good or better. Freddy Rodriguez is also fantastic. Yeah, he is also playing, you know, he, 
on Scrubs, he's like Carla's brother, I think. And you sort of recognize the face, but other than that, this is, he's clearly not the same person. It's, it, he completely disappears into the character here. It's really, really fantastic job. And also, I'm pretty sure he's not from, like, South Central Los Angeles either. I don't remember exactly what, I think he's actually from one of the, like, Latin American countries originally, like, grew up there. I, I could be wrong. Anyway, yeah, the, the, I can't think of a single performance that wasn't, at the very least, good. And they got some great types, too. When you, when you see someone who's supposed to be a gangster, you believe that that's a gangster. I, I wouldn't be completely surprised if some of them actually were, like, former gangsters, or at least grew up in the area or something. Terry Crews is in this movie, and he does a good job acting. Yeah, I, I did not see that coming. Now, the... The script is not perfect. There are numerous surprises, but there are also some there, there are also quite a few cliches, and sometimes you really do see where something is going. And the thematic really gets to be a bit on the nose at times. Like, the, like I mentioned, Mike, Jim being a negative influence on Mike, is just a little too a little too obvious at times, you know, kind of, we're, we're being guided at what we should be thinking and how we, you know, it's not just in the back of our heads, it's, you know, flashing red lights, this is what you should be thinking now. Now, the, it keeps to a pretty good pace, it's 105 minutes without credits, 111 with, and yeah, it, it keeps moving. The it it flies by it flies by quite nicely, and it is yeah just them you know working out these you know trying to fix the job situation and I don't want to give too much away. As you've probably already figured out, this is a rather bleak movie, and it is also rather unrelenting. I don't want to give the opening away, but it starts in a bad place, and then it goes downhill from there. There is really very little of a positive break. In this movie, there's there's very little light at the end of the tunnel, and what there is may very well get blotted out over the course of it. It's also a quite brutal film. Definitely not for the faint of heart, but nothing honest about South Central Los Angeles. A piece of fiction is going to be. And I believe that pretty well covers it. The music, again, with the, as with the, the other stuff I said about credibility, is just pitch perfect. Every single piece of music fits completely with the, you know, the situation, the tone. Yeah. If you at all like you know, some of David Ayer's or other work, as mentioned earlier, definitely one to watch. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.